It seems to me that the government is modifying the weather based on the fact that they work with a company called Weather Modification Incorporated. I mean, they might as well work with Monsoon Hut or Tornadoes R Us because it doesn't get much more obvious than Weather Modification Incorporated, a privately owned firm in North Dakota hired by federal and state government organizations based on their reputation for successful cloud seeding. Now, cloud seeding is a well-established, if not universally accepted process for modifying the weather. It's usually done by sprinkling clouds with particles of silver iodide. These particles make ice crystals form into clumps that become too heavy to hold, so they fall to the ground as rain. This is a simple process that's sometimes referred to as milking, which means our government uses the clouds in our sky like their tits on a Midwestern dairy cow. And they've been doing it since 1946 and bragging about it in magazines since 1954 when Navy Captain H.T. Orville published weather made to order as if it's a hamburger at a Wendy's drive through The chairman of the Committee on Weather Control made it sound like the government can order a flash flood like it's a big bacon classic. It's quick, it's convenient, and it's very reasonably priced. In fact, a company called Elate Intelligent Technologies is capable of fine-tuning weather patterns for as little as $200. Again, for only $200, a late hurricanes can be steered. I mean, do you even realize what else you can steer for $200? A Toyota Corolla. For $200, you can either rent a Toyota Corolla that has a ton of highway miles and a jizz stain in the back seat that's shaped like a map of Kentucky. Or you can rent a Typhoon. You gotta wake up. Don't slap snooze.